Hey guys, good morning. Uh, just wanted to give you a a true Outlaw 3 review. Um, I rode with a lot of Honda guys last night. Went on a night ride in uh, Georgia and uh, met some new people. Had a blast. Uh, got to ride in some new areas that if you weren't from there, you would never get to ride. So that was pretty cool. Um, meet new people is always fun. And I'm hoping I get to ride with them again. Um, but anyways, on these Outlaw 3s, going in there, riding. Uh, I did hog waller with them, and I've done some forest ride, which the forest, I don't really get to push the tires to what they're capable of in the uh, Osceola Forest. So this new ride that I went on uh, was a little bit better as far as clay and some uh, swamps and stuff like that, lily pond type uh, ponds and stuff. And um, they really do good a lot of the honda guys uh that i was riding with really impressed um a lot of them too running outlaw ones um one guy on assassinators but i tell you what man these things got a to me a perfect blend of that dig that you get with a bkt and then that pull forward that you get from like how an outlaw one uh pulls and you see them just go through the mud and just walk instead of digging down um, in some real soft mud if you're in two-wheel drive you will notice a little bit of digging down um, if you ever put it in four-wheel drive i don't really feel like the honda will just dig down you know normally especially if you creep it'll walk through that clay uh, just the tread spacing is so big here you know it's like hand width so they really stay clean and the side lugs do pretty well to pull you forward. The only complaint that I have of somehow if they could make this a, a better tire for an ATV, at least in my opinion, what I'm thinking is if they use the same type of rubber that they do on an Outlaw 1, uh, make it uh, softer. This is on 3 PSI and I don't care if you had it without any air in it or not even on a rim. I can still put my body weight on these tires uh, just sitting there at the tire store and the carcass is stiff stiff enough that it doesn't really even budge. Um, so I can definitely tell they put that in there for the heavy uh, side-by-sides and stuff like that. But if you're climbing out of a hole, a clay hole, anything, and then you got to run over a log or a tree or something and that's a slick uh, tree or um, log or something like that, the tires are just so hard they're not going to conform and bend over anything uh so you'll have issues there but if you're looking for a clay tire uh mud your honda floats and you don't want that no more uh that was one of my biggest things um and just better traction i went to these outlaw threes and after going to these i think for what i care about the most um these are the perfect tires uh, for my type of riding um, Man, they're awesome. I I know people like going 33 sometimes too, uh going bigger, but uh, Don't really feel like I run out of ground clearance very much and it's just Tall enough without being Too tall. I don't know some people might disagree, but these 31s are awesome uh, With the gear reduction the 53% gear reduction that I got from reduction boss they uh, they pull really well it has tons of power i only lost about 10 miles an hour on the top speed of the bike uh, and you'll lose a couple mile an hour in every gear but third fourth fifth gear even just accelerating on hard pack or on a paved road or something the the gear changes just happen so quick and it's got so much power um definitely the reduction that i would recommend for these tires on a 500 guys if you have a uh 420 and you try to run these outlaw threes um you're probably going to want to go with a 69 percent but everybody with a foreman 500 or a rubicon um man i i give these tires nine out of ten being only thing they could be is a little bit softer for an atv um if the carcass flex a little bit more i think they would be even more badass but other than that guys these tires are awesome uh any questions just comment down there below and uh i'll try to help you guys out if there's something that i missed but just wanted to give you guys an honest review they've been on 
six or seven rides now. Haven't broken an axle, high lifter lift in the front, and uh, maxed out in the rear. Um, it's been awesome.